A, mechanical energy. Conservation of energy is when we use conservation of energy in what situations? When will we use conservation of energy? When we have a transfer from one thing to another. What do you mean by that? So when we have energy transformation, which is, but there's a, we need to, we have energy transformation happening all the time, but there's conservation of energy is something's going on. When we're only dealing with conservative forces, that's technically 100% correct, but what does that mean? You're right. No energy is lost or gained inside the system. So for you and I, the easy thing to see that would be no friction. If we don't see friction, you know, if this question says this is a frictionless surface or we're in physics land, then you can use conservation of energy because we're not, that's a non-conservative force. Friction is. If we're dealing with friction, then we can't use energy initial equals energy final directly. But we still may use it to help us figure something out. May help, your question may be, how much is lost to friction? Use it as if there's no friction. Do the calculations if there's no friction. Figure out what that is. The difference is the loss to friction. So, you know, sometimes you still may use it, but you're using it as a way to get, this would be the perfect world, how much did I lose? Kind of situation. Work energy theorem. The change in energy equals the amount of work you did. Well, let me, let me step back to here. We have kinetic energy. We're going to restrict ourselves to kinetic and potential energy. Kinetic is mo motion. If the object is moving, whether we're dealing with conservative forces or non-conservative forces, if the object's moving in any speed whatsoever, it has kinetic energy. And then potential energy is based on its location above. And we're just going to do gravitational potential energy, so how high is it above some bottom point? Remember with the pendulum, the bottom point is as low as it can get. It may not be the ground. You can't get any lower than the string to let it get, and that's the bottom. That's where it has zero gravitational potential energy. And then we have the work energy theorem. Work equals the change in energy. Now, I've not said this before, but remember we have plus, we can have negative work and positive work. When we had negative and positive in, with kinematics, negative was to the left or down, positive to the right or up. What do you think negative or positive work means? Energy on or by the system. Okay, that's correct, but what do you, you, that still doesn't answer my question. So when do I have positive work? So it's not as, it's, it, So if, if my object that I care about is gaining energy, then that is then that's positive work. Positive work was done on it. Does that make sense? So if my car is gaining energy, then I'm doing positive work on that car. If my car is losing energy, then that's negative work. How it could be the object itself, so you know, the, the statement that was made up front here is true, but we have to think a little more. Another way to think about it, a more a, kind of an easier way to think about it is, doesn't matter whether it's doing work or not doing work, if the object we care about is losing energy, negative work. If the object we care about is gaining energy, positive work. The object itself could be doing work. If it's doing work, it's losing energy, right? Or it may have work being done on it. But the, the simpler way is, where is the energy going? Into it or out of it? If it's going into the object, we care about positive work. So that's kind of a thing to remember. So friction almost always is going to be, if I'm talking about a car and there's friction happening, and what's the work done by the friction? It's almost always going to be negative because it takes energy away. It slows the thing down, right? So just kind of uh, 
way to, to remember. So the, the key though is which what's happening to the object we care about. Is it gaining energy? Plus work. If it's losing energy, negative work. 